Right, we're going to start with that breaking news. Today we learned that this man, Gerson Fuentes, will spend the rest of his life in prison for raping a 10-year-old girl. Her story made national headlines after she traveled to Indiana to have an abortion just days after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. 10 TV's Tara Jabor was in the courtroom today and she joins us live outside the courthouse now. And Tara, Fuentes does have the possibility of parole. Yeah, Yolanda, that's right. Fuentes does have the possibility of parole, but that's not until after he serves at least 25 years in prison. Life in prison with the possibility of seeing the parole board after 25 years. Gerson Fuentes sat emotionless as a judge told him his fate for raping a nine-year-old Ohio girl. This morning, Fuentes changed his plea and agreed to the life sentence with the possibility of parole. The court considers this the worst of the events. The judge told the court that the decision was difficult to make and the case would have gone to trial if the family did not make the ask. The state has been in contact with the mother of the child and that she is not objecting to this plea or to this resolution. The case became a national talking point after the girl was forced to travel from Ohio to Indiana for an abortion, just days after the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade and Ohio's ban kicked in. Even the president used the case as an example against the justices' ruling. Just imagine being that little girl, 10 years old. Does anyone believe that it's Ohio's majority view that that should not be able to be dealt with? During the hearing, detectives testified about how they learned of the rape, saying the little girl went to the doctor and tests confirmed her pregnancy, and the Columbus police started investigating. Members of the Columbus Police Department went to the uh, child's residence um, to obtain uh, DNA samples from the minor child, uh, as well as all males who were living in the home at the time which included the defendant, Mr. Fuentes, who was a living boyfriend of the child's mother. After Fuentes serves his sentence, he may be deported from the country. Right now, he's not a U.S. citizen. May have the consequence of deportation, exclusion from the admission to the United States, or denial of naturalization pursuant to the laws of the United States. And the family of the victim did not want the judge to comment during the sentence, so she did respect that request, although she said that was very hard for her. Reporting live in downtown Columbus, Tara Jabor, 10TV News. Thank you, Tara.